Today I shall be showing you how to install OS X on your laptop. I'm running Windows 7 and i7 PC so it's relatively fast for me. Uh, some of you it might take longer and some it might be quicker. So the first thing you need to do is download two files. that They will be in the link I give you uh, at the bottom of the YouTube video. Uh, once you have these two links you can then download the, th the two files, they're quite large so it'll take you a couple of hours and once you've downloaded them you'll have two things, one will be your OS X which will be this file here and the other one will be a VMware install and a key generator now what you have to do is uh, extract the VMware to a folder on the desktop uh, you can use a free program called WinRAR uh, if you haven't got something else and once you've got that downloaded what you must do is well, of course run VMware and it'll ask you for a key so you have to open the key generator and once that's installed you go to your OS X folder and extract that that might take some time because it's quite a large file and once that's extracted you've got to find the folder that looks like this it'll have four blue squares now when you double click on that it'll open VMware and show something along the lines of this now depending on your computer spec you can edit the virtual machine settings and give more or less RAM uh, you can give it more cores or less cores to use generally for OS X I would recommend at least two cores because it's designed to run on an uh, i3, i5 or i7 CPU and so if you don't use something like that you'll find it'll be very slow and laggy. Uh, as for hard drive size you need about 20 gigabytes but it'll be set to default 30. But one thing you must always check is that your CD drive has the ISO image Darwin Snow uh, set as default because otherwise the thing won't boot up. Now, once you've got it installed and you've opened up the VMware, you click power on the virtual machine. Now, this will take some time, so uh, you might want to skip a bit of the video, but what you see here is Darwin loading up. So, just wait a few minutes. Now one thing to note, you need to um, have virtualization uh, enabled on your motherboard. If you don't have uh, virtualization then you'll have to download a fix. Now I, I haven't had to do that so I'm not entirely sure about it but there are videos on YouTube, I know that. So once you've got that downloaded it should boot up OS X. But one thing to note is that your OS X will be in a foreign language. It'll be uh, well, I don't know what it is. So you'll need to go through a few steps to uh, change it to English, and I'll show you those now. So yes, your OS X will boot up, and it'll look like this, except it'll be in a different language. So what you need to do is click Go or whatever it will show Go as, and you go down to Utilities. Once Utilities opens, you've got to find. Um, the flag and then you change the uh, what's it called the, the um, uh, region sorry not go uh, system preferences in the bottom right and then you go to the flag for language and text and now language and text will pop up but it won't look like that for you so what you'll need to do is scroll down to the bottom and you need to click edit list now this will pop up except everything will be unticked except that one language so what you'll need to do is untick that language and find English or whatever language you're preferring to use and tick that when you click OK it'll then come up and you need to select it now once you've selected it it won't change the language until you've logged out and logged back in so you'll close it and you'll log out Now the only thing to remember is that because somebody else set up this machine it'll have a different password and the password is one two three 
However, mine's different because I have changed it. Now, your language should have changed and it'll all be set up. Uh, sound should be working and that should be everything. Now, uh, in my next video, I'll show you how to install Mac OS X on a memory stick so you can boot it on any computer from your memory stick, as long as that computer supports USB booting.